Welcome, beloved viewers, to our fourth annual Fourth of July special. Communists! Communists! Did you guys pay the cops off to leave after they made everybody get with the liquor? Once again, we are headed to a misgoverned, crime-ridden city to inject a little patriotism. If you saw any of the last ones, I know you'd rather deep throat a bottle rocket than miss this. Don't approach me, bro. I got my dad's law firm on speed dial. I'm gonna throw you down it. I'm, I'm gonna throw you down this. I'm gonna throw you down the surface hole. You're going down there. So declare independence from whatever it was you were doing and please bayonet that like button like it was a filthy red coat. Because today we're raiding the most liberal city in America, New, New York. York! For months, buses from the U.S.-Mexico border have been arriving in New York, Chicago, and Washington, D.C. On Wednesday morning, three more buses filled with migrants arriving in New York City. New York City can't afford it anymore. We yeah. really care. All the shelters are at capacity right now. We have more migrants in shelters than we do New York City residents. That's right. Migrants encountered by Border Patrol in Texas are being bussed up here, and the media is not happy about it. The governor of Texas has decided to use individuals who have risked their lives as political pawns. He's unfortunately using human beings as political pawns. These folks that are using human beings, children, as political pawns disgust me. Republican governors using migrants as political pawns is reckless. First off, pawns is the wrong word. Mexicans don't play chess, they fight roosters. But also, when people in power keep chanting canned phrases, you can be sure the issue is more complex than they're letting on. A tax code that makes sure everybody pays their fair share. And it's only right that we ask everyone to pay their fair share. Pay, pay their, their fair, fair share. share. Pay our, our fair, fair share in taxes, taxes in a way that is fair. On the campaign trail, Barack Obama decried the carried interest loophole. Now, though, however, the former president is using a nearly identical strategy to minimize his potential capital gains taxes. Pay your fair share. Pay your fair share. Pay your fair share. Hunter Biden said to plead guilty to two misdemeanor counts of failing to pay his taxes. Evasion for 14, false return for 18 in 2019. The true number is $580,000 of in, uh, failure to pay for 2017 and 620000 for 2018. So what is all this human pawns propaganda? And why are the White House and their minions so pissed off? I think it's a smokescreen. Blame the other guys. Our crew has been to Eagle Pass and Yuma. Border security was looser than whale shit. Government data showing there were more than 220,000 encounters with migrants last month, the highest number in 22 years. Whatever was being done to stem the flow of migrants, it felt about as effective as one of these guys. The media probably wanted to distract from that. But also they want to distract from the reality that Biden just reversed his border policy to the point it's basically the same as what Trump did. So this is a seismic shift in U.S. asylum policy and a major pivot by President Biden, who just a few years ago condemned the Trump administration for undertaking a similar policy. And migrants who are not able to prove that they qualify for an exemption to this policy will face swift deportation back to Mexico. Political pawns or not, Faced with a makeshift tent in El Paso or living large in the Big Apple, I throw myself at a Greyhound luggage compartment in two seconds. And living large they are. Staying in luxury hotels, reportedly fornicating and drinking a lot. Shocking new details of the scene inside New York's largest hotel that's housing illegal migrants. Workers say there's also evidence of migrants drinking alcohol in the rooms, which the city says is not allowed. And the locals are pissed, actually, since migrants are, in some New Yorkers' eyes, being treated much better than the local homeless population. Why is there so much military personnel there? They're keeping the migrants safe from the community. There's a lot of people in the community that don't want these migrants here. Once again, Leo and I are here to make peace. As people of color, we feel like we never got a fair shake in this country. Right. People say to me, hey, leprechaun man, People say to Leo, you're a greasy, uncircumcised, sex-addicted reality TV washout. You look like if Jason Momoa was wanted for kidnapping. People say to me, 
Build me a railroad, potato eater. People say to Leo, does gonorrhea own your dick or is it renting for the summer? I would rather my sister be mauled by a polar bear than to see her in your debauched clutches for even a single night. So today we're celebrating the journey to this country. We're going to get the real scoop on the migrant situation. Without all that state-sponsored media bias. And since a hundred years ago, our great-grandfathers were in their position, we're hitting Ellis Island to remind ourselves that we're not so different, us and the migrants. Before we get into what I can assure you is a fantastic video, please subscribe to the channel. We upload every Sunday and sometimes midweek too, so you want to be subscribed to catch those. Also, consider checking out our Patreon to support our mission. On there, you get two exclusive videos every single month, along with live streams and long extra cuts of our content. And come along as this 4th of July, we raid the most liberal city in America, New York. We are adjacent to Madison Square Garden. I could have said next to, but I'm an asshole. Where we are right now, it's become a hotbed of migrant presence. And we're gonna meet up with my contact for this whole thing, a great local photographer and reporter named Leroy, who I think you guys are gonna get a kick out of. He's right over here. Wow, this is like a party, dude. This is a party. What's up, guys? We're getting conflicting instructions to come back or go away. Leroy. How you doing? What's up, man? How's it going, How gentlemen? Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. Hey, absolutely, man. Happy What's to be here. Good to Welcome see you, man. How are you guys? Welcome to New York. Happy 4th of July. <sighs> you are very much a New Yorker. I can see your accent. I can hear it. Yeah. I love it. shows, right? The test of a guy being a New Yorker or not is, have you ever leaned out the window of your car and yelled, all day with those tits, baby? I, I wish we seen some tits right now, but I have <laughs> heard that before. Yeah, You've heard that yelled out of car? Yeah, yelled out of car. All right. I like a little outfit. Well, yeah. And do you like the pizzas and cigarettes we brought? Yo, papito! Well, the guy with the backwards hat, was he was being a little rude to us. He waved us away, so I don't think he's entitled to any of my pepperoni. No, I think he was telling us to go talk to Leroy. He was Good. Well, Leroy better vouch for him, okay? I got you. If Leroy vouches for him, I'll give him some pie. I got you. Como están? ¿De dónde son? Venezuela. Venezuela, mucho gusto. Soy colombiano y argentino. Eso. Nací acá en Los Ángeles, pero... Leo, tell him we got off on the wrong foot. Dicen que, perdón, que pensaba que lo estabas echando, lo estabas echando, pero... Ah, no, esta no. pizza es para ustedes. Ah, estamos sí, invitando, bienvenido. Sí, sí. I, I thought he wanted to come at me, you know? I thought he wanted to come at me. Si quieres... Uh, you know. Sí, boxea un poco, sí, sí. I'm telling him that you box, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. Hey, you want to know? Hey, somebody else wants sure. Yeah, I'm trying to help these guys smoke the f up. Pizza party over here. Pizza party, pizza party. Pizza party. We got you, man. We're out here, yeah. For Venezuela. For Venezuela. Danny, they're telling me that here they get along with their fellow, with the, with the, Hi the Heidi people. Oh, oh, everybody's friends here. There's no racism. There's none of that crap here. So nobody's going to call me a Mick or a potato farmer? He's Irish. If you guys want to say something about the Irish, go for it. It's okay. Cigarettes. All right. Yeah, you, you better hurry up, Danny. Yeah, well, it's it's like a soup kitchen, but for tobacco. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I get it, dude. I, you know, you have a Nick Fiend behind the camera there, buddy. Uh, he gets it, too. Yeah. There will be order in my tobacco line, though, gentlemen. Okay, one, one at a time, DC. One, one per one customer. Guy. Look at this guy. This guy's really helping himself. He's got a whole box of pizza. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I got you, man. I got you, guys. I got you, guys. I got you, guys. I got you. I got you. Is it? Yeah. Where's the pizza going, Nico? You already got one. It's gone, dude. Dude, there's a. Thank you, I'm being insulted by a Hydra right now. All right, you guys take it. You guys take the box. Wow! Leroy! I want some of that pizza, dog. That's gone, dude. It's all gone? It's okay. We already ate. We already ate. That felt about as comfortable as scattering breadcrumbs on my penis and feeding geese. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Now there we go. We didn't think they were going to use us like that. You know, we want some fanfare. Hey, you know? The cigarettes, they went quicker than the pizza, Leroy. It's the smokes. <laughs> they like the smokes. This is nuts. I mean, right next to Madison Square Garden. We're not in the Bronx. We aren't in Brooklyn, Staten Island. We are in Manhattan. And it feels Vespas, you know, the migrants. It, just, it feels like we're not even in this country, let alone in this borough. Mm -hmm. 
It's it's a strange situation for New York City. New York City has turned into Migrant Central, uh-huh. and it, the scene is a little weird because, like you said, we are next to Madison Square Garden. Yeah, right. And when we, we walk down the block and you see a bunch of people sitting around that are not from our country, I did make friends with a lot of them, and they're good people. A lot of them are really good people. What they want is they want to find work. Sure, right. Have you witnessed any of their attempts uh, to get any? Like, what is their uh, kind of technique? Uh, look at technique. look at this guy. Does it really surprise you? He asks look, questions yeah, like that. It's their dream to find a nice American girl, right? Marry her and uh-huh. get her papers. Right? What, what's maybe we could ask one of them about their uh, their dream woman? Yeah, amigo, cuando let this. Okay, qué clase de qué clase de americana? Qué es tu 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 mujer como perfecta? Dis, como, decime que tu mujer. Que... Ass or titties? Ah, he, this guy. This guy knows. This guy knows what's up. What was he saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So qué qué quiere? Oh, oh, he's oh, this is just, he's gay. They're saying he's gay. Can you explain to him that everybody's saying he likes cock in Spanish? I think he understands. Who can you tell him that? Just so he knows 100%. Todos están diciendo que te gusta pene. No sé por qué. He says they're all gay themselves. Wow, wow. Everyone is saying everybody else is gay. A lot of finger pointing going on. A lot of Peter pointing, if you will. Yeah, and it was Pride Weekend last week. It was Pride Weekend. Well, it's over. It's a, these guys are not smart enough to even realize that if they marry a chick, like, they're set, dude. Well, well they just don't know. They're not, they don't know that. They, do they not know that? Do you want, should we tell them? Tell them. Tell do them. they know? So you're going to tell them they need to find an overweight white woman with yeah. low self-esteem. Oh it's just stepping stone. ¿Qué piensan de esta idea? Que, ¿Por qué no se casan con una gorda americana, no, que no tiene, no se siente muy bien de ella sola porque es muy gorda, no? Sí, está buscando, no está, he says he's, he's looking, bro. He's been looking, dog. He's been looking, dog. He's saying he's been looking, dude. Of course. Yeah, yeah, of course, bro. Danny, they're saying, of course. Who do you think? They're not idiots. They've been trying. So you didn't think they know? I didn't thought they knew. Okay, so you guys know. Okay. Hey, he's been working for it, yeah. Oh, you gotta, you gotta turn him around that big, bro. The circumference is so big, dude. Yeah, you gotta get in there, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Damn, look at that, Nico. Look at that, Nico. That's a freebie. That's a, oh, the shirts? Yeah, I stole the pizza. No, I brought them. Uh, Those are fine over shirts, Nico. Do you see that? Jesus Christ. Wow. So just a common shirt is that much of a commodity? That's not like high-end merch. That's not Supreme gear. Those are all my old clothing I brought up that I cleaned out. My Those were, that's Leroy's dirty laundry. <laughs> it's clean. So says you. It's, that's well, this, eye-opening, this, dude. This shows you how much... This, this shows you how much they don't... They don't we gotta watch out, dude. These, these guys are... We're good. We got two cops right here. They're yeah, not going to stop. Let's go. Let's go. Look, you got, you got the military right there walking back and forth. Now, you see the military? Yeah, armed military. They got their desert eagle. Thank you, officers. Oh, that's a little heavy caliber for this situation. Yeah, but is. Desert Eagle, you can shoot a migrant through one of these buses. You can shoot through two buses. Long ways. Yeah. <laughs> We've talked about this, Leroy, a lot. We talked about this when we went down to Eagle Pass and we met a lot of kids coming over the border. It's that we, no animosity, no judgment toward them because all four of us and everybody at home would be doing the same exact thing if they grew up in those guys' circumstances. We would all be trying to get here. We would all be fighting over a t-shirt and a cigarette and a piece of pizza. And they can't get employed, right? It's pretty hard to find uh, employment. Right now, the, well, employment in New York is hard in itself. Even mm-hmm. for people that are born here, it's hard to find jobs. Uh, the mayor is trying to get them uh, legal working papers mm-hmm. where they can actually work legally. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, but again, work is scarce in New York right now. The city feels emptier than usual right yeah. now. Hotels were pretty cheap. We've been getting around very little traffic. Um, and 4th of July in, in New York City is supposed to be one of the biggest celebrations of the year for this town. And it doesn't feel like there are that many people here. No, no, it, 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 I don't mind the tourist industry has dropped in New York. After mm-hmm. COVID, after all these new laws were into effect, a lot of people don't want to come into New York. That was insane. I, I really, like I'm still processing what happened to Leroy. I felt like we got transported to a third world country within eye shot of Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Look, a third world country got transferred to us. It did. You said, Leroy, that the cops might be willing to speak to us? Uh, we can get them on camera a little bit. You yeah. Can shoot them if you want. Sure, sure. Yeah, let's be careful with that language. We yeah, don't want to yeah, shoot we them. We don't want to shoot. We can't talk on camera. Okay. Sure, sure. We can just 
sure, sure. Yeah, yeah they, no, New York State rules, the co- New York City, they're not allowed to speak to press. Sure, sure, sure. But we can film, we can talk, and we get them in the camera. You know, I might uh, I might present a question. It's going to be rhetorical, though. I expect yeah, no God. answer. So yeah. check this out, check this out. Oh, God. Gentlemen, you don't have to answer, of course. Oh, God. But since 2020, since there have been multiple budget cuts in the department, and since Mayor Adams has been elected, um, which one of you gets the most p- <laughs> <laughs> I think it's that one. That one gets more. <laughs> I think. I had to take a lap. <laughs> See, uh, we're professionals, guys. I want that to be clear. We're professionals. We'll say it's a draw. We'll say it's a draw. <laughs> Follow Leroy. Check out his work. Excellent. This guy's on the ground talking to the people who know the stuff awesome. about the migrants. And uh, right now, we got to catch a ferry to Ellis Island. Uh, Liberty Island. You, you got this now. Right. Yeah, we're on Liberty Island making our way to Ellis. An estimated 40% of Americans are descended from immigrants that passed through Ellis Island. The first Ellis Island immigration station opened on January 1st, 1892 in New York Harbor to manage the increasing number of migrants coming to America. Leo and I, it's two people whose great grandfathers came through Ellis. We gotta see, this is our holy land. And on the ferry, luck would have it that we met Cynthia, a beautiful Latvian woman with zero papers. See yeah, you hear that? Also, it, 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 I'm I, irresistible. We have here an immigrant like, very near Ellis Island. Maybe just the two. Mm-hmm. Like full. Leo, oh, wow. take a hike. Okay, take a hike. That, that'll be the last one. Of Sorry. course. Well, that'll be the last one. Sorry. You and I are future okay. partners, future spouses. <laughs> yeah, sure we are. Of course, baby. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, one second, yeah. In fact, We're shine. Our in passion fact. is going to radiate through the frame. Yes, uh, it's real passion she has for you. She's scamming you. One of my friends got scammed by a girl who was like, I'm a doctor. She told us she was a doctor already. I don't trust her. I don't trust this broad, Danny Mullen. Leo, are you jealous? No, are you jealous, jealous that I found love? No, but she's not a doctor. She's saying she wants her papers. Dude. Leo, I come to New York City, the most romantic city in the world, and I find a woman, and you're suggesting she has an ulterior motive for liking me? Buddy, she's, she's fresh off the boat from Latvia, dude, and she's just by herself in New York. Yes, I think there's ulterior motives. Read my feet, please. Of course. Of course. She wants her feet photographed. Boy, relax. She wants right. her feet photographed. Okay, okay, is that funny. suspicious too? No, it's not. Go ahead. It's a little suspicious, honestly. It's kind of weird. We've taken so many pictures. All right. Get out of the Sorry, frame. Sorry, I'm out. You're junking the frame up with your okay, long okay, hair and your dude, stupid okay. fake cat. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Take a picture of your Latvian whore, dude. You're about to get slept. You're about to get slept. She's working you, buddy. She's working you dude i know you think this is all comedy you think this is a routine no no, no. I, li- shh, shh. I ain't playing dude you you're getting played dude. i ain't playing you're getting played you're getting played by that chick so good luck oh my god just pan back there he's so it's hilarious unbelievable unbelievable dude. It didn't go and do it again. <laughs> look. Oh, look at us. We're a couple already. Yeah, thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's ask her about her f- neurology. We will. She is going to know the human brain like the back of her hand. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Sad we're we're lovebirds, we're lovebirds. That is it. You guys are really annoying. You barely know her, dude. You... There's a reason why songs about love at first sight have dominated the pop charts for 52 years. Oh, really? Okay. So there's... I'm empty. You, you want him to put it back? No, put it back in there because this is going to be how your marriage is going to be. You're going to have to do these tasks that you hate, like putting the cola back in the cola just for your woman because otherwise you know she gets cranky. Listen, it's not a big deal that I have to put a little bit of soda It's actually really 
really, it's actually a really big deal. This is so annoying of her to ask, and it's you just hear uh, it's, it's, it's like, it's like, like haha, haha. Just keep taking them away, taking them away from us. Yeah, Leo, it's fine. What? Jealous? No, I'm not, dude. You're getting scammed. You're getting scammed. You're getting scammed. I am a lonely bachelor with a mountain of coins in my apartment, okay? Oh, and they are right? burning a hole through the floorboards. If I want to empty the account and give it to Cynthia, that's my business, it's not that's, yours. That would be really ridiculous. Love is more important than money. I know the Italians have a hard time getting that through their thick skulls. Oh, wow, dude. You barely know her, she's from Latvia. She barely speaks English, man. She don't speak English. <laughs> to emphasize that. How? How Do you speak dare any you? How dare you? You don't know her. All I hear back there is just the chitter chatter of the jealous peanut gallery. Leo, he knows he's gonna die alone. He's gonna move out to a cabin in the woods and he's probably gonna off himself with a shotgun. That's Leo's future. No, you are, are an idiot. I think I'm gonna end up uh, die alone too. So. Don't say such things. Now that I'm in the picture. Are you? Can't. I'm in the picture, baby. I'm in the right, dead center of the frame. Are you really a doctor? What? I. You yeah, know, right. I have my qualms. She's offended by the question, Leo. How dare you even ask? I'm sorry, I'm just... Yes, where? Yeah. Do you have any pictures in a lab coat? Any pictures in yes. a lab coat? You do? She's got yes. plenty. You have pictures in a lab coat? Yes. She's, got, she's got pictures of her doing open brain surgery. Uh, do you have pictures of you doing surgery? She's got the scalpel and the pliers, really? and she's adjusting a neuron. I you, saw it. You, you have surgery? You do surgery? Yeah. No, I do lumbar puncture. It's fine. What kind of puncture? Lumbar puncture. She punctures lumbar. Okay, so you, are you an acupuncturist by chance? It's no. not. You call yourself a doctor because... It's a needle this size. Yeah. Okay. You think an like, acupuncturist can uh, work with a needle that size? Degrees, yes, so they, actually they can. They larger needles. Yeah, she, she just called out the degree, dude. Oh, Does that sound like somebody who's fluffing? All right, uh, right. what is... Uh, yeah, let's hear it. What is, how many... Let's hear it, Ben Carson. What do you know about brain surgery? I don't know much about it, but clearly, I, are you going to tell your friends that your girl's a brain surgeon? Because she just said she's not on camera. Hey, uh, Danny Mullen might be in a relationship with a brain surgeon. Dude, she's not a brain surgeon. She barely, I don't think that she, I think she's an acupuncturist in Latvia. You are dating an acupuncturist in Latvia. Leah, I think I want to propose on Ellis Island. No, 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 no. Dude, you don't know who she is. We're just getting engaged. It's not official yet, okay? I got at least two weeks to call it off, because that's when the ceremony will be. You're not. You're gonna set a date two weeks from now? Uh, uh, why not? Are you busy? I have free time till 11 Oh wow! Yeah, so much free time. Yeah, we should. Don't follow us, Nico. Uh, I think that dirty Italian Leo. That son of a bitch. Went to get a pretzel. Hey, relax. Hey, stay away. You need to relax. I'm gonna point you out to an Ellis inspector. They're gonna check your head for lice and send you back, you guinea. You're funny. You're sexy. Thanks. How many pictures have you taken today, Danny? How many pictures have you taken today? How many pictures have you taken? Have you taken? One for every time my heart is panged for her. Is that a good answer? From behind, Leo. Without people and from behind. So yeah. Of course, baby. Oh my, oh, beautiful. Cynthia, the pride of Latvia right here. The pride of Latvia? Maybe I'm gonna buy a boat and name it that. And it's gonna be dedicated to Cynthia. You are, get out of my way. Okay. You're okay. polluting the shot. No, no, Cynthia, you were doing great. Sure, I was getting low, I was getting low. You, know. you are a storm cloud on a sunny day. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, baby, yeah. I'm a storm cloud on a Get away from me, get that away from me. storm cloud is gonna stop the sunburn that's coming your way from this Latvian. I have SPF 50. It's scary what you've become. Um, Did I do a good job? <laughs> I didn't do a good job? Please like this. You like that one? Uh, oh yeah, you're gonna need some more photographs. You spent like $400 on a tour, and you're just taking pictures of this Latvian girl instead of enjoying the tour. You're a history buff. Pull yourself, to get, pull yourself together, man. I'm your friend, dude. I, this is Leo, dude. Look, she's probably gonna ask that guy for a picture right now. Watch, she's about to. Uh, Stop, uh, what the hell are you doing? That's the vulture. Uh, you don't f the vulture. Don't pull that vulture bullshit out on me, dude. Don't f don't pull ah, it. Ah, ah, dude, stop with the vulture, dude. Ah, Stop. I'll pick your bones dry. Stop, dude. Where'd she go? Yeah, your girl could be, she's with another dude, probably. Oh. She's probably with another dude. She's with another dude, guaranteed. Hey, hey anybody seeing this guy's girl? Oh, f ah, ah. 
The vulture will get you. I could hit you with that hammer, as I usually do in the hospital. You, oh, you want to check my reflexes? That's what I usually do. Leo, she just told me she checks reflexes in the hospital with a hammer. All right? She might be. That's a glorified nurse. She's a nurse. I'm not the nurse. She's not a nurse. That's all right. No problem. The kids need to hear it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. That's right. You want me to buy it for you? You can't afford that, dude. Get away from me. You can't afford that. If you that. buzz in my ear one you more time, the Leo and Danny show might become the Danny and Cynthia show. Whoa, dude, whoa. You're gonna, you're gonna get me off? Am I gonna be third mic at least on my own pod? Ah! You're, gonna change, you're gonna change the name of the pod to the Leo and Cynthia. The, the, the what? The, the, Dan, the, the Cynthia and Danny show? Just be grateful the vulture doesn't pick your bones. Hey, she wants me to go to the bathroom with her, okay? Because I make her feel safe. Oh, really? You're gonna go to the bathroom? Why, dude? Maybe Sorry. I feel like sitting down to pee, too. Is that so weird? Wait a second. Now, all of a sudden, you told me sitting down to pee is like basically coming out of the closet. Listen, You've said that before. In this Andrew Tate, Jocko Willing society, yeah. I'm tired of the stigma surrounding sitting. Dude, I don't like this. Oh, do you know who you are? You're Danny Mullen, dude. Don't do this to yourself. I was Danny Mullen. No, 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 no. You're gonna take her last name? What's your last name, Cynthia? One more time? I'm Danny What? I'm Danny I can't even say it. I'm Danny You're gonna take her last name without being able to say it? Hey. Stop. It's my woman. It's my girl. You wanna pet it, dude? Stop. No, no, I wanna pet it. I wanna pet it. I wanna pet it. All right, fine. It's nice. Careful, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop, why are you looking around? Why are you, you piece of shit, dude. It's eye came out, dude. Good. It's nose came off, you piece of shit. Tell it to the Ellis Island police, Leo. Dude, you I better- I got photo ops. Dude, you better, you better pay for this. You're a piece of crap, dude. You're being cuckled, dude. You're being cuckled. Cuckled. Cuckolded. Cuckolded, dude. You're being cuckolded. Look what you did to my cat, dude. I can't smell your bullshit anymore. Excuse me, sir. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, what was that like, dude? You know, it was a unique experience using a seat cover to pee, but I was able to check some emails, get some work done. It was kind of nice. Hey, baby. Hey, let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. It's a late. You're risking Nico's camera to run around in the rain with your love? You think this is romantic? A, a real man isn't afraid of a little moisture, Leandro. <laughs> I know moisture is a foreign concept to you. Why don't you make him carry you? He can carry you, he's very strong. Would you like me to throw down my jacket for you? Oh, uh, don't you dare do it, don't you do it. Shut up, Leo. Don't you do it, don't you dare, don't you dare. Oh, come on, come on, that is over. <laughs> I did it. Uh, can we go? Wow. Yeah, we can go, baby. Where is our guy? That was the dumbest thing I've ever, ever seen in my life. You, you are just going to be drenched for the rest of the day now? What did that even, what was the purpose of putting your jacket down in the middle? Chivalry! God damn it, dude. Where is our guy? We better get on a ship. There's our boy, dude. I gave everyone until 11 after instead of 10 after, and then I walked. When your heart is a flutter, it's hard to keep track of time. Yeah, they're, they're just... I, and I understand that, yeah. but I gotta take care of everybody. Oh, You're absolutely if, right. If I mean, it was just us, it would be totally different. If we had to ask you where a good place to propose on Ellis Island would be, could you maybe throw out a nice little this vista? Don't, don't humor him, because he's gonna do it, and I I'm think thinking, it's, a huge mis it's a huge mistake if he does do it. Well, that's the only kind of mistake worth making is a huge one. Okay. <laughs> Small mistakes aren't worth making. Stop touching my lips. This is out of a movie right now. The rain? If you don't want to, this is totally okay. But would you like to kiss in the rain right now if you don't want to? I know uh, consent is very important. I bet she doesn't want to. And, and I value consent more than any man yes, on this pier. But um, if you'd like to kiss in the rain? Yes. Oh my God. Oh my, this is wrong. This is okay. wrong. Let's go. Oh. oh my God, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm depressed. I'm depressed. My friend's gone. I don't know him anymore. Bye. My friend's in a relationship now. Bye. Bye, Danny Mullen. Alice, baby. 
for myself and Cynthia. It's going to be the gateway to Ever After. Cucktown, USA. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, Cucktown, USA. Cucktown, USA. Listen, Cuck, Cucky McPhil, Cuck, Cucky McGillagutty. Listen, I've appropriated that word. Can I tell you? Doesn't something? sting. Can I tell you something? I am a cuck. You're a cuck. I'm yeah, a beta admitted. cuck. I'm glad that you're admitting it, at least. I'm a beta cuck. I'm a beta cuck. This is the first step to change. I'm a beta cuck. First step to change is admitting that you're a cuck. There it is, good. I am a beta Tell everyone. Can you start screaming? Tell everyone. Can you start screaming? You're upsetting her. The screaming is upsetting her. Oh, come over here, Cynthia. So, I like, I'm drenched too. I, um, you, you, physique is great. I'm worried she. <laughs> Might be attracted to you. I saw her looking at him, in fact, so I know that she's attracted to him. Uh, you know, he's a very let's jealous go, guy. Go, he's super jealous, so. She's not a doctor. She's trying to scam you for her papers. Her vagina is hairy. I, I don't Shh. think... That is completely unverified. I I can verify it just by <laughs> lot, but I can ver I can ver I saw it. I'm sorry, I'm kidding. I didn't, I should, I should sleep with her to ruin you guys. <laughs> I should sleep with her to ruin you guys. Welcome to my vote for the single most historically significant spot, not just in New York, but in all of the U.S. Mark Twain said, the two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. Mm -hmm. Well, I say that while we were born at Independence Hall, we found out why here on Ellis Island. 12 million people came through Ellis Island to become Americans for the first time. My great-grandmother, McLaughlin, from County Kilkenny, Ireland. I am now the doctor, and I'm looking you up and down. And I'm looking for signs of contagious disease. You'll find it on him. Contagious disease has been on everybody's mind. There's something going around in Latvia, I believe. In the last what? few years. I'm looking at your eyes. I'm looking at your veins. Where I'm looking you? at your lips. About your eyes. At this point, you kind of have to wonder why anyone subjected themselves to this at all. What? Why come here? What was the lure of this place? There's a saying all our ancestors have heard. Streets are paved with gold. In America, the streets are paved with gold. Three things. One, the streets are not paved with gold. Two, the streets are not paved at all. Three, we expect you to pave the streets. Uh -huh. But that was work. And upwardly mobile work. You could go from being street paver to the manager of the street paving team, to the guy working in the office that manages the street paving team, to the owner of the office that manages the street paving team. It's not guaranteed, of course, not by a long shot, but it was possible. It was possible in a way that it was not possible in the lands from which our ancestors had fled, and that is what it was about. It was about chasing the possibilities. Thank you very much. Thank you. Really great stuff, Matt. Thank you. You're great. Thank We're you. satisfied customers. Well, I'm so glad. Thank you. My friend here, he's, uh, I don't know, he's been love struck uh, by this young Latvian woman. But I i think shes it's a well-known scam where she's pretending to be a doctor and she needs her papers. And I think it's just. A, but here's the question. Does it matter? It doesn't matter, it matter Leandro. Only... When did we share our first kiss? <laughs> Look, the problem uh, is. Before the boat? Yeah, I think it was before the before boat. Which boat? Uh, the, the one that took us here? The one that brought us here. Okay. They kiss in the rain. Yeah. That's what she, it, well, she's alluding to. Well, it worked for Audrey Hepburn and George Papard. Right? right. Straight out of the movies. Which oh, film was oh, that? Of course. That's Breakfast at Tiffany's, Danny. Terrible adaptation. 1960, uh, 61. 1961. I knew it. You know the problem, though, with that. What? The book it's based on, he's gay. They changed it. Correct. Yeah. It, it makes it in the I thought I got away from the gay jokes, Leo. You didn't, buddy. That is you. You were it kissing in the rain. It's a great book. As a yeah. game. Well, All right. and let me ask you this, Matt. Far. One thing, Matt. Yes, sir. Is this gay? What? <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, we, they think I'm gay now. Obviously, Whoa. the answer is yes. Yeah, the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's see if the people I love are up there. Oh, God, there it is. There it is. That was George Papar and 
Audrey Hepburn. And Audrey Hepburn. A homosexual oh, who's and gay Audrey now? Hepburn, dude. Yeah, whatever. Oh, who's gay now? The vulture is back. Several baby. people, but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's gay within this square of picnic benches? Just, just it was a pleasure, Matthew. Cynthia, let's go to the second floor. I am ashamed of this relationship. What? We're going to the second floor. Yes, I will put my shirt on for you, baby. Now. Yes. Uh, I'll put my shirt on. It's just like the hopeful immigrants coming over on boats would have put on a life vest to preserve not only their lives, but their hope for a better life in the United States of America. Leo, Matt told us that the processing for immigrants took just six seconds. Six seconds to process the immigrants. If it was that short, then why can't I fall in love in a similarly short amount of time? Because it never works. It's never worked for anyone, dude. Whose rules are these? They're the world's rules. The world is you. mad. You're making an ass of yourself. You're embarrassing yourself. Leo, the immigrants came to America thinking the streets were paved with gold. Correct. I think they're paved with hearts. They're paved with dollar signs that are leaving your pocket and getting into her Latvian hands. So be it. Oh, really? Because from this moment on, anything that is mine is Cynthia's. Cynthia, I want you to share the rest of your life with me. Are you kidding me? In this country, at my side in Los Angeles. <laughs> Not just at my side in marriage, but at my side on the podcast, The Leo and Danny Show. Oh. Soon to be The Cynthia and Danny Show. Oh. Yeah. Cynthia. Yeah. Would you marry me? I think he scared her away, you? buddy, and she thinks you want to bang. Oh God, that is disgusting. Oh, that is gross. I can't believe you're doing this for this. I gotta make it a ring. Okay. Where'd she go? Cynthia! Firm no. Cynthia! Hey, darling. No. Wanna no. put out your finger? I made it. Oh. Hi, this is my soon-to-be wife. I'm trying to propose, but... Well, I didn't have a ring, so I thought I would just, you know. I, her true, co her true colors are coming out. If she had a, if she had a sense of you. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. How else can the? You think? Oh, oh listen, listen. In the gift shop over there, there's some little Statue of Liberty rings. Pose with that. You Dude, see that? A Statue of Liberty ring? Yeah. You promise me, man? I, I think this is my one hope. I'm sorry. I am glad this is happening to you. Her true colors are coming out. Her true, thank God, dude. Leo, you think she ran off because the ring was latex and not diamond? Yes. Maybe her not thinking my Trojan was good enough is a sign of materialism. Obviously. You know what? I mean, I've got down on one knee in the middle of the Ellis Island Processing Center, I know. okay? I, know. I mean, that is a gesture fit for a novel. She turned you down and then walked ran away, in fact. She fled the bookstore. Can you understand that she's not the one? Oh, look at this, like a punched in the stomach. Stop, stop, dude. I, I, dude, listen, man. You're gonna be all right, dude. I, I know that the, the stuff on the boat, once in a lifetime shit, I get it. The kiss in the rain, it was storybook shit, Danny. But you're better than this. You're better than this. I don't know that I am. Yeah, you are. You're better than this. I don't know that there's gonna be another one. Yeah, there's gonna be many other ones, man. Might as well cast myself into the river. Stop, dude. The only thing that eases my pain is knowing that right now there are migrants, not historical migrants, present day migrants that need our help still. Really? Yeah. Why don't we go do that and forget about this one migrant, well, that kind of stole your heart and crushed it? You're gonna be all right, buddy. You're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. Stop thinking about her, man. How you doing, boss? Hello. So, my heart aches a bit still from, you'd say, my loss at Ellis Island. She was scamming you, dude. Get over it. Can a feller get a second to grieve? Scamming. Too scamming. I've had to redirect my energies into something creative. Leo? Do the words right to shelter mean anything to you? No. It's because
because he's a dumb guinea. Right to shelter is a policy they have in place here in New York, which basically says if any migrants, refugees, homeless people come to the city asking for shelter, the city has to provide it to them. We saw many migrants who were benefiting from right to shelter earlier on. I think the city's got room for one more. I have to get a place to stay, man. And um, a funny idea popped into my head. At least I thought it was funny. Back in Los Angeles, when I was sitting at my desk, typing away, coming up with funny funnies. I thought, what if we could dress Leo up in a barrel? If Leo could show up, speaking like a Cuban guy, just wearing a barrel. Hey man, can I have a bed for the night, man? I come all the way from Havana, Cuba, man. Uh, in a big wine barrel. Well, it turns out it's not easy to buy a wine barrel that can be worn as a costume, so... Nico made us this beautiful cardboard box suit. Wow. And Leo, if I understand correctly, you got yourself a kick-ass hat. <laughs> hey, man. I have to get a, a room for the night, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Let's get you in there, Leo. Let's get you in your silly suit. I want you to remember, when you go in there, that you live in a country so great that you get paid to put on a cardboard box and wear a white claw hat. Yeah, it's nice. Leo, we saw guys fight over a cotton shirt earlier. Yeah, I do. They came from a place where a used, pit-stained, fruit-of-the-loom white tea is a commodity worth fighting over. Yeah. Scary, isn't it? You like what you see over here, buddy? This guy's taking a peek. Meat Cox Gazer not, Esquire. My cock's not coming out, though, dude. Cock's not coming out. You know, our country, we got some corrupt bureaucrats. We do. We do. All right. But hey, if we stay vigilant, if we steel ourselves against these sorts of intrusions, yeah. I think America can stay on top for a long time to come. And we can stay a place where Asians and guys from Venezuela come and fight over t-shirts and cigarettes. I come from Cuba, man. I don't know clothes, man. Can you guys, I heard you can give me a play here, man. You guys can give me a play? I'm from Cuba, man. What do you mean? I, I, I heard you can stay here, man. But I have a family here, man, too. Come on, guy, one night, man. I, I just because I don't know clothes, man, this is my only choice, man. It's my only choice, man. You guys are, come on, you're being unfair, man. I need my clothes, man. You guys got any clothes? You guys got some clothes for me, man? Hey, you're man. You guys together? You should be with a real man like me, man. Hey, I'll f shit out of you, man. Hey, I'll f shit out of you, man. I, uh, I just want to say, I, I, you have a beautiful woman, man. Is this your woman, man? Maybe she should try to be with a real man like me, man. I can show her a good time, man. Why don't I come out for a good time? I can show you in my mouth. I don't have the clothes, but in the mouth. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, dude. You're honestly a piece of shit for making me do this right now, dude. Honestly. Is it just me or is it really funny? I look, estoy para un cuarto ahí. Do I have a room? Is there a room I can stay? For real, just one night, man. Can't lie. I don't have any clothes, man. They didn't give me the clothes, man. Dude, can you help me out, man? Come on, man. You got, can I go here? Somebody stole my clothes. Can you guys, can you guys help me with the, you don't want to help me with the clothes? Can I, can I go in? Is there somebody in? I'll go. You can't come back. Sir, come back. This ain't no joke. Why can't I go no, in, man? No, you cannot go in. Can they give me a room for the night? Thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. They told me free room, man. No. Who? No? What? Only if I don't speak English? I barely learn English. It don't matter. I can't even say English. Like English. It don't matter. Look at what you're wearing. Is that... Are you uh, do you guys have clothes for me? Do I need have clothes for you? Do you have clothes for me, man? Look, Somebody take look, my... Try to hold a on 48. 
Hey, I told these guys, agarramos Pinocha. Nido, ¿cómo es que agarramos qué? Agarramos en Venezuela. Totona. Agarramos Totona. Sí. Aquí están los amigos. Coño de la madre. Coño de la madre. ¿Cuál es? Coño de la madre. Coño. Mamá huevo. Mamá huevo. Hey. Agarramos <laughs> muy Totona. Yeah. I got this right now. Get it, dude. Agarramos muy tetona! Muy tetona! Uh. Okay, dude. 